everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade and today I am doing my April TBR video for you guys. So I have two books that I am hoping to continue with this month. The first one is The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. This is the third book to the Mistborn trilogy. I started it last month and I am 205 pages in so I still have 500 or so pages so it's still an entire book length to get through for this one. If you haven't heard about the Mistborn trilogy it's a book that takes place in this world that is ruled over by like a tyrannical king who has lived for thousands of years and there are only two groups of people. There are the slaves called the Sakra and then the noblemen. There's really no in between. It is about this group of ragtag people that end up getting together to try and take down the Lord Ruler. So it kind of has a little bit of Six of Crow vibes with like a big heist and like a bunch of love to hate characters. But it also has one of the most original magic systems I have ever seen, and I really, really enjoy the magic system in this book. It involves the ingestion of metals, and that each metal gives you a different power. It's really, really good. I love those books so much, and I really love that one. And then I'm hoping to continue with another story in The Secret History of Witches by Louisa Morgan. This is a five-generation story about a family of witches, and it is more about the struggles they go through during the time than it is about actual magic because none of them have like powerful all-consuming magic but some of people are able to like um, make soaps infused with different smells that can make people feel certain things or someone's really good at making potions for medicine and things like that but it's more about trying to survive in these trying times, basically. And I've read the first two generations, and so I have the last three left. I'm just hoping to read another generation. It's more of a book that I'm taking my time on. The next book I really, 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 really want to read is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I'm so interested in this book, and I kind of want to pick it up right now, but no, I'm going to read a little bit in Heroes of Ages after this video, but this book is about a school that kind of caters um, to everyone, so the people who go to the school get to choose what they study and learn about, and the main character has decided she wants to be a detective. So she went to the school to learn to be a detective. Not only that, when the school was opened, however many years ago it was opened, the man who paid for the school, his wife and daughter were kidnapped and presumed to be murdered. And as she gets to the school, new clues are being uncovered for this really old cold case and she is gonna try and figure it out. It just sounds really good. I don't know, that book just really intrigues me. The next book I have here is Girls of Paper in Fire by Natasha Nagan. This book sounds very, very, very interesting to me as well. And I was really excited about it before it was released. And now I've had it for a little while and I really, really need to get to it. I got the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition because I really, really wanted it. But so I just want to read you a little part of the synopsis because I think that's really what describes the book. Each year, eight beautiful girls are chosen as paper girls to serve the king. It's the highest honor they could hope for and the most demeaning. This year, there's a ninth, and instead of paper, she's made of fire. And that's all I needed to read to know that I wanted to read it. <laughs> so the next book I have for you guys is Furyborn by Claire Legrand. This book has been out for a long time, and I've been needing to read it for all of that time, as I've had it for a while. This book is about two queens of this land and a very great prophecy. The prophecy says that one of these queens with um, really powerful powers will destroy the world and one will save it. And this book takes place from two characters' point of views. One's 2,000 years before and one is current and they're both having a lot of different struggles. And I've heard some things from people's wrap up about this book that made it so interesting to me. Apparently like angels are involved in it or something like that and I'm just very very excited. That's all I have for you guys this month. Please tell me in the comments down below what books you're going to try and read this book month or if you've read any of these books and if you liked them. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye-bye!